of Fire Emblem characters. All we'll right. see what both these players bring to the table. I mean, Falcomist, a lot of people have forgotten about him because he is he was definitely a star in NorCal for a long time. Uh, he has an epic uh, epic set that's up there against Shiz wins. All right. Um, when they flew out Shiz to uh, to California with the good player fund. And grand finals they met, I think it was a best of five, and it was a 10 set. I'm not going to give it away. Okay. But it was a fantastic set of Falco vs. Mari. But game one is going to be FOD. Yep, a pretty small stage here. Not much room to run around. And Marth can easily slice through those platforms if his opponent is on edge. Oh my goodness, three forward throws. Finally. <clears throat> Both of these players are just going straight at it. And Metroid, I'm really liking his dash dances. Yeah, he's not really committing to anything, which is what a lot of players are <gasps> to do. Interesting. I've never seen a forward throw to reverse up be ever. Wow. Evo 2014, man. This game is so old. And yet, I'm seeing new combos today. It's all about the creativity. That's the only thing that limits you in this game. Smart. Trying to see if he can get a forward smash. But Falcom is not biting. I mean, he's a veteran. He knows what you're thinking. In this matchup, you're going to want to see both marks not try to go to the skies because whoever goes in the air, it's going to be like Street Fighter. They're going to get anti aired first. No one wants to get anti aired Mark having the forward smash, the up tilts. The forward B is one of the Whoa! Okay, so what you just saw right there was the best thing to do whenever a Mark gets hit and then he does a wall tech. If you wall tech, you want to execute that back aerial. It's going to reverse Marth's momentum back towards the stage, allowing you to get on the stage. You want to do that, or if you're concerned about your space, you can do a sword dance and off the as well. So good. Well, that first stock is gone, and Falcom is trying to bait out a roll. Didn't get it, but still close it out with the neutral air. Three stocks each. Nice tipper. Oh my goodness, you just heard the thunder and the up reverse up B. That was such good presence of mind. Wow. Falcom is readjusting his glasses saying, man, good job by Metroid, but I'm going to try to see if I can put something together here. He's an old school player. Nice tipper. Tries to go for another, but Metroid gets the roll. Nice. Tipper. Wow. And Falcom is just swinging right now. Man. And Metroid is just confident with going out there, testing up these dolphin slashes, close up stocks. And it's funny, when I was younger playing this game, I never would want to get out there. I'm always afraid of what's going to happen if I jump out on, you know, above the blast zone. What's going to happen? Am I going to self-destruct? But these guys, they're not afraid. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not liking the aggression from Falcon at this point. I know he's trying to play it behind, but he's, he's trying for too many baits. And he's, he's going too often on two, as I would say. Oh, did not roll on stage. That was a really good spot dodge. Still managing to get back on stage. No, Falcomus takes the stock. Yep, and we're actually not seeing uh, either player opt for the quote-unquote Mark Killer Edge Guard, where it's the, uh, the White Shield holding to the stage, which forces the grab stage. Falcomus looks like he's trying to hold his ground here. He's trying extremely hard, but... Oh, caught blocking. Off stage. What's the edge guard gonna be? He gets Nothing. hit by Marth Subby. Ooh, another opportunity. Okay, uh, Metroid sends him off. Misses the tipper opportunity. Looks like Falcomus might have an opportunity to win. Just because Marth, whenever the opponent gets a high percent, it's harder to get those KOs. Right. Oh, all right. Nice. That was the classic punish. They dash out of shield after a bad forward smash. Pick your option of choice. That time we went for a reverse dolphin slash. Expect the DI to be off. And it, it was. So one over Metroid. That was so fast, too. It's so hard to react to those reverse dolphin slashes because since they come out so quick, sometimes players just miss the DI, you know? Yeah. They get sent right off stage. Here we go. Metroid coming on strong here. Wow, no double jump. You can hear he's trying to get these. Oh, he really wanted that Ken combo, but he still gets the stock. At that point, if I'm Falcomist, I would just forward B and try to take down Metroid with me. But I'm not, so. Good forward smash by Falcomist. Metroid shaking his head. The tipper. Got a sweet spot. Well, it's gonna need one of those. 
Nice, just avoiding him. And here he goes, he gets the grab. Alchemist with solid tipper. Just waiting. Whenever you see those um, situations, Martha's usually going to wait for a spot dodge from his opponent. Yeah. You know, it usually comes down with Marth, period, to how patient you are. And well, Metroid's patience, we've seen, it's been voting a lot. It's been doing a lot more for him. We've been seeing a lot of draw board smashes, but that time, we got one after a bait from Metroid, and it worked out for him. That was really good catching the tech on the platform, um, the tech roll on the platform. Oh, and yeah. both Martha in the quote unquote Roy zone. Because those crazy hitboxes grabbing through each other. Oof. I like this by Metroid, not making his recovery look too obvious. Just delaying it. Trying to sweet spot those double jumps. A lot of pl um, novice players here usually burn their double jumps like you just saw him do there. And because of that, he had to commit to his upbeat, which gave Falcomus a free opportunity to get that forward smash. Yep, Falcomus coming to the full advantage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Both of them looking for the same thing, but it's all about positioning. It's almost like he hit him with wind. <laughs> Man. No oh, opportunity for Falcomus as the mark was up in the air. He, whenever he, another mark sees another. Uh, Marth in the air. They're going to try their best to get as much damage as possible. Yeah, Possibly even course, taking yeah. the stop. Going with like a neutral air, you know, forward air. To try and get some of these together. And of course, power the patch cancel. And he still has jump. Not enough. Yep. The job by Metroid. He's up by a stock, but he could just lose this any time now. This is the DI. And good job by Falcomus staying on the stage and enrolling on to extend the amount of invinci invincibility that he has, allowing him to take that edge hog. Yep, and until he's actually on the stage, the game considers on the ledge. So, all day. It's almost as if he's a hologram, you know? <laughs> oh! <Q -Hawk? laughs> South by Southwest, man. The tip. Oh, Metroid. Metroid was looking so hard there to uh, switch, but he had to do it, especially with Falcomus not showing he's opting for the Mark II situation uh, two or three times now uh, when Mark is coming from below. And that did. The final destination is what it's going to be. Yep, no platforms here. Just straight up fight. Two four throws this time, Falcon is DIing inwards. And the reason you're going to see people DI in is because they don't want to get hit by that tipper. Right. The amount of knockback at that point is going to be tough. And especially early on in this game, it's so important. Getting into an early edge guarding situation doesn't do too much for your side. Either. Wow. Coming down with the dare just to thwart that attempt by Falcon is to get the forward smash. Here we go. We've seen that a lot from. Uh, from both players, but Metroid's opted for it a few times in the last game of Battlefield, so. Alright, and Metroid taking the first stock yet again. Always has the lead. But it's not about the lead, it's about who closes with it. That's it. Gets the forward smash, it's the double jump, it's gone. He uses the... Oh, he needed to space that forward smash just a little more. Good DI out of that neutral air. Multi-hitting moves, you can DI out of them in this game. Yep. And just outside of range, gets clipped by the get-up attack. It was going to punch a hard before it's Oh! Counter, interesting play. Metroid drops the ball there. Wow. After the counter's thrown out, and he throws out a up B. Oof. Oof. Man. It's going to feel that one in the morning. It's crazy, that, that sound just echoing throughout the entire stage. Yeah. It's so satisfying when you, when you get those tippers. Drop the video. Wow, a down smash. You don't see many Marths use that, but that move is actually one of Marths fastest, if not his fastest smash attack. Also, the tipper on it is pretty solid in the knockback. It has about as much knockback as actually his forward smash is vertical. And Metroid came to build his lead. Oh, trying to see if he can catch Falcomus out of those dash dances. What a dash attack. Here we go. And you see Fal uh, Metroid doing nothing there at that point? We see uh, Falcomus often just burn that second jump immediately. He's <gasps> waiting to punish it hard. Nice! Good job by Metroid. Catches him when he's off stage with the reverse Dolphin Smash. Falcomus has to get something started here. This is his final stop. Do or die. I was looking for a down from him there. Trying to push back a bit more. But no dice. 
They were able to bounce smash. Oh, very late on that back air, but he still okay. managed to reverse the momentum. Good job. Yeah. Is he going to get back on stage? Uh, up he's really early. I like that. Yep. And good counter. Also, he fades back to take ledge. Giving himself a safer option. So he lands on the stage. That stock is gone. All right. Two remaining on Metroid. But Falcom is with 14% on his last one. Let's see what adjustment is going to be made. Metroid gets the grab. Good DI by Falcomus. Metroid missing his tech chases. Trying to hold center stage. Falcomus does not jump cancel those grabs. A little bit of lag afterwards, allowing Metroid to get that punish afterwards. <coughs> Good tech chase with the forward smash. He waits to see if he double jumps early. Metroid. Nice wall. Gets the forward smash the moment he takes to the air. That's why you can't jump in this matchup. He's miss spacing those forward smashes, though. And right now, it doesn't bode too well because we're going to see, oh, he's going to put him back towards center stage. He's still trying to face something out. That time, he almost connected. Catches him out of, out of his landing leg. Double jump gone. Oh, yep. Oh. And he went to try and clip him down there. I like that choice, but just a bit too, a bit too early on it. Some play. Oh, nice. Whenever a player tends to have a lead, they usually are a bit risky, but oh my goodness, Falcomist self-destructs right off stage. This is something you're not going to see in Smash 4. If a person air dodges above the stage, they'll be able to come back. But in this game, you're fully committed.